Pledge of Allegiance. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? What? The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Claudia, can we just take a moment of silence for the 12 Marines that are you know, dead right now, please? Exactly, we can. Just a moment of silence, please, for the 12 Marines that were uh, just killed today in Afghanistan. Thank you. Okay. Just a note, we need to be out of here. By 5.30, there's another meeting scheduled in here, so um, we'll try to get through the agenda in the appropriate time frame. And hello, Donna's not going to be in. She's got some family um, crises going on right now. Savory won't be in. I think Savory's on vacation. I'm not sure. But. I believe he said he was going to be away. Yep. So, right? for whatever reason, we're here. Um, we need a, uh, we, do, we do have a quorum, so we're... Donna's on the phone right here. She's got herself on mute. And um, we need an agenda approval, current agenda approval. So I need a motion. I, I'm not going to make the motion only because I was only on the phone last meeting. So okay. although I heard a lot, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. I move we accept the agenda mm -hmm. as presented. Yes. And I guess I'll second it. <laughs> all right. A little off. Can you step, second it, Stephanie? I don't know. Can I? I'm an alternate. Thank you. I'm an alternate, so I don't know if I can second it or not. Uh, you, go ahead. Are you approving the agenda or No, the approval for the agenda today. Oh. Today's agenda. I thought you were doing the minutes. I'll make the motion to well, it. Sure well, it. Elaine <laughs> made the motion. I'll be happy to second that. Okay. I was just going along with it. No, you don't need to approve the agenda. Yeah. So you don't you don't do an, an agenda approval no. before the meeting. Okay. Okay, that's yeah. Right. That's cool. That works. I was just a little confused. No, I took it out of the. Um, that's okay. The bylaws, but that's okay. Um, okay, so secretary approval of the minutes, July 29th. Uh, you want to do a motion? Well. Have you seen the minutes? I have. I'll make the okay. motion to uh, approve the minutes of July 29th. Do you want them read? Or do you... I approve them as is because uh, did everybody read them because we were told that we should read them beforehand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Do you want them read beforehand? No, that's okay. not necessary. So approve uh, without reading? Correct. Okay. A second. Thank Thanks. you. Delaine. Okay, so we're down to policy committee. All in favor. Oh, yes, that's right. Any discussion? No. All in of favor? What? I'm sorry. The minutes. Any yes, discussion? Um, the committee for, I thought it was Stephanie, me, and Donna on the uh, committee for the um, board fall, fall event. I'm sorry, I'm just reading this now. Oh. Then maybe we should defer the minutes so Paula has a chance to read it. Well, yeah. no, I'm re I read it, okay. but that's the only thing I found that okay. was so at the fall event. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, Stephanie. The, uh, the fall yeah. event we're still in discussion on anyhow, so. No, we formed the committee. Yes, but the fall event is still a continued discussion. Yes. So I can, I can we, when we get to that, just bring it back up, Paula, and then we'll, we'll just. Well, the minutes are wrong, though. That's what I'm saying. The committee is Stephanie, me, and Donna, as far as that, what we discussed. So if you approve the minutes, that means you're agreeing that that's the yep, committee. Yep, yep. Right? Okay. I mean, I'm new at this. Let me know if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Donna? Donna, can you, can you? Yeah, what's up? The committee on the fall event, we didn't really take a vote yet on the fall event because that's a continued discussion. We tabled that. No, no. Right. What I'm saying is the committee was, followed, we all, all, three of us volunteered to be on the committee that night. Wait, wait, wait. I can't hear Go ahead. Can you say that again? We voted the committee. Yep, so she's right. 
Okay. No. Okay, so you you have the committee as what? Stephanie? Three. Stephanie, Paula, and yourself. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yep. So would you be satisfied, Paula, with saying that the minutes are approved as amended? Yes. By yes. Would saying that the um, committee members are Stephanie, Paula, and Donna? Okay. So there's nothing in the minutes about the the meeting coming to a halt and it was stopped recording. I mean, those aren't, those aren't to be included in the minutes. I mean, I, I was. The minute you, your correction was about that. that. The, yeah, that but the, the other question I had was yeah. the, at the meeting, it was come to a halt and it was stopped being recorded. So yes. that doesn't have to be included in the minutes. I don't know. Okay. Well, so it's like it never happened. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, right. Well, what would you like to be put no, in? No, I'm there? just saying, I thought minutes were including everything that happens at the meeting. But what really motions? Oh, okay. And, All right. and the first, it's, I don't even know if the second really, I don't know if you carry the second for meetings. I mean, if she said, if you want it in. If you want it in, we could put it in. No, I don't know. I'm just asking. It's I thought in, the no, minutes I included if, everything if that happened at the a, meeting. If there was an issue, that it probably should be in there. That sure. It's in public comments. It's in what? Okay, in so the, in the public comment section, it said Nancy Ryan public comment delayed a recess for public discussion. So it is. There is mention of a recess. Yeah, it's just not. Okay, it's I'm just not listed it. out right. separately. It is mentioned. Oh, okay. oh. So are you okay with yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. Now, All as right. amended, with the committee names being listed under the fall event. Because mm -hmm. uh, I want. I want. Because do you want me to take these from here? And yes. Amend yes. them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and just add them on. Yeah. So and and will approved as corrected. Correct. That's what yeah. I'm saying yeah. is okay. the minutes will be approved as amended. And we have a second by Elaine. Mm-hmm. And then all those. Um. Uh. Are we done? Discussion done? Still? All in mm -hmm. favor? Aye. 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 So. Three. No nines. Okay. Two zero. Motions passed to accept based on the amendments. Yes, based on the amendments. Minutes. Okay. Our next is the um, policy committee. Notes. I'm going to pass out um, copies of the policy notes as we go along. The first one we'll look at is the agenda. It seems to be the, the, the largest. Can you pass that down? Sure. Stephanie can do this. Does she have a copy there? Uh, no. No. Okay. Do you need one, Tony? Yes. These are not, these policies are just drafts. They haven't been approved, so. Um, we're not, they'll, they'll be published on the, on the website when we all go through it. This is the agenda policy. I didn't, I wanted to pass this out and give you guys a month to read this and come back at the next, meet, next meeting and um, make any suggestions. And Stephanie, I'll, I will take up your suggestions of any changes during the month. You can also email that um, if you want to make any ideas let us know, we'll add it to the agenda to make adjustments on the agenda policy. It's actually based on the um, agenda policy for the uh, town. So, uh, except that we wanted to do a section based on the board and the public, anyone attending. So, if you take a look at that, agenda policy will tape the discussion changes and, and possibly any votes for the next meeting but can I be a pain yes you can Di didn't we switch public comments to the beginning of the meeting yes we I don't did. mean to put you on the spot but I just want everybody to be happy here we switched it last meeting correct no, we switched it. I didn't we switch it in March when we did the well, original? Well, we switched it. To yeah, the we beginning. switched it. And, and the point of moving public comments is to um, 
you have the agenda, so we would like a public comment before we go through our agenda. So it's it's more apropos for us yeah. to just move it up to the beginning um, agendas on the uh, the agendas on the website. So you're able to speak to the agenda, the current agenda, before we get into discussion. So it allows us to hear what your opinions are. So yeah, we did. We, that was moved up in in March. So right. we've kept so, it. Okay. So shall we do the public comments then? Public comments? Um, yes, we can. It's, it's in public comments, right? Did we not? No, we skipped it. No, we no, skipped, skipped it. it. So okay. To be so we'll add, <laughs> add public comments to the top. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. So they can speak if they want. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. What I'm trying to say. Okay. You're right. I'm running out of order here. Oops. Sorry. It's okay. Public, we'll go, we'll kind of stop where we are with the agenda and go back to public comments. Um, just know that the these items are not um, voted on yet, so you haven't got a copy of them. But you do have the old agenda item, so if you need to speak to anything or anything that's on the current agenda, please do so now. Do we have... Any public comments? None? All right. Good. Yes, we move on then. Okay, then I'll go back to the um, the committee we've got next is the food. This one we could bring up for vote. This has already been um, covered um, with the board, yeah. with the town admin, um, the food policy. Uh, I'll give you guys time to um, look at it a second. It's very short and quick and easy to vote on. You want to get that shown? Okay. caught it on time. Thank you. <laughs> That's all it is, is one page. So we haven't voted on this yet? No. This we That's have not voted on, on, but it's already been uh, uh, approved by the health huh? department. For the Board of Health. Oh, for Board of Health. It's on the table. Already. So um, can I have a motion to um, bring this up for discussion? Well, I'll make a motion to approve, and then you can do the discussion. So I'll make a motion to approve the um, outdoor food policy. I mean, the Kava Board of Health guidelines food policy. Second. Uh, Stephanie, you want to second? No, she's I alternate. Can't. Right I'm now. alternate, so I can't. I can't. second. Thank you. Or Donna. Yours. Yep. yep. Discussion? I think I, I don't agree with it, but. Well, then talk about it. Well, I'm talk just saying by the time you're 60 or 65 years old, you should know what allergies you have. And it's always been food, homemade. Don't I think this is just giving an explanation um, to certain people, and maybe certain people don't know, you know, or forgotten. So, um, do you want to? What, what, what would you like it to say? I just don't. I don't understand why all of a sudden this is a rule. I mean, they've always had homemade stuff up there. Through the chair. This is is an issue because when you're in a nutrition center where you have a cook that has to be serve safe certified and you're concerned about the quality of the food that's being served, if you're bringing in outside food and if you see the stipulation without prior notification or approval from the head cook, then there's a liability on the town should somebody get sick with food that's being distributed. It's not a factor of somebody who is bringing in food to eat themselves. That stipulation is allowed for at the very bottom where there's people that if they have their own allergy issues, they're bringing in their own lunch, they're eating it themselves. It's an issue of distributing outside food that hasn't been approved. Now, people have come in and asked June, is it okay, I have a box of donuts from Shaw's. Is that something that she can see the ingredients, she can look at it, she can check that it's a store-bought item, that now we have the knowledge of what, what it is, what the ingredients are, and can advise if somebody does have an allergy issue. 
the whole purpose is to go through the process of having it be approved because we have somebody who serves they've certified for a reason just because to have the quality and safety of the food be assured for people who are in the COA. And that's the, the main reason for it. And it was gone through the Board of Health to have make sure that that is a standard that the Board of Health supports and provides as a health guideline. And it is also something that is established with MCOA and other COAs uh, in the state. I was just curious why we're voting for it, because it's already a rule. In well, the it's not, a, it's, it's a Board of Health guideline. It's guideline. a guideline I think we want the, uh, the Board to adopt. Mm -hmm. okay. And silly correction, but contra is it, I think there's a misspelling For here. which one? Yeah. Um, um, con no, contraindications is actually um, a term. It's um, from the MCOA. It's the Serve Safe um, ah, instructor I Googled provided. Um, yeah, MCOA. okay. I'm glad to, I Googled it. I was like, what? Thank you. That was a new word to me. I'm glad so. you had a Google. Because that was so my new word of the day. Well, Contraindications. <laughs> specifically from the MCOA um, directly. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so a motion has been made. I'm sorry. Yep. Oops, yeah. the motion's been, been made on you. the floor to accept the uh, outside policy that has already been accepted at the Council on Aging by the Board of Health. It needs to be accepted here. Uh, is there any further discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. I'm assuming Dawn is approved. Saying aye. Donna, yay. Nay. Dan, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can't assume. Yes. Right. Vision statement. Um, we provided, uh, Stephanie and I provided a copy last meeting and asked you to look at the vision statement. I think we've added a few words and changed a few. It's very, very short. Thank you. Um, no, you, you don't. It's not voted on yet. Um, but I think we could vote on it today. It's a very quick and short policy. Um, and we can change any wording that we want fairly soon. Um, motion? Anybody want? Give you a five minutes to look through this. And then someone could make a motion. The only thing for clarification is to exceed the emission statement. Yeah, we. I, th I, th I think we kind of played with that too. We. If you have a better idea or, or better wording, I know that Stephanie and I'll be glad to make ch whatever changes you might see fit for do, this. Do you we, guys agree with that? That. Could be rewarded. I questioned it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah to well, be honest, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I think the rest of it speaks mainly to the emphasis that we're trying to make. So, I, how do you want to? What do you? What's your suggestion? To just see. remove that. Because she was thinking, as opposed to just achieving that, we hope that they exceed well, their achievements. A, yeah. No, exceed's a great word, but I'm just saying the, to exceed the mission statement. It's, it, it's fine. It's. Uh, Elaine, you're a preschool teacher. What are you? Yeah, doing? here you go. <laughs> now help. No, I, I, I agree. Um, first off, I don't really know what the mission statement is, but I think you know, exceed expectations or you know, meet expectations yeah. is a good, better. Uh, thing. I mean, we could say exceed the expectations of the mission, the mission statement, statement I like goals that. and go. public. Say NHL. that again. There you go. <laughs> um, what did I say? Exceed, Exceed the, the expectations, expectations of the mission. Of. Exceed the expectations of the what? Mission statement. Mission statement, okay. And then comma, growth goals, et cetera, et cetera. So provide okay. the support, encouragement, and Yeah, I can give this to you because you guys are in charge of that. So I'll give you. Yep. So it's to exceed the expectations of the mission, the mission statement, statement. comma, okay. growth. Okay. Do, do, does anyone want to do a motion to accept this with the corrections changed? 
with the correction so this, change? This is the vision statement. Vision yep. statement. Do you think so, Stephanie, or do you want to look through it again? I think that's good. Think it makes sense? And it, I move we accept it. Okay, so motion, yeah. vision yeah. statement. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Vision statement. Right. Social media. Social media. Okay. I was happy with that. Mm. If I remember correctly, because I read it a little ago. Um. Let's see. Okay. Why do we defer the agenda policy until next mm -hmm. meeting? Why do we defer the agenda policy till next meeting? Uh, just so Donna and Savory were here? Yeah, yeah, and to give them a chance a to review A chance to it. review them and make yeah, corrections. Yeah, because it's a, it's a I just policy. Yeah. I just want to know, know what to put in here. It's pretty lengthy. Yeah. I think is is it's like a new new new. Um, we didn't work on it as a committee. Um, I used some examples mainly because I just wanted to get it on the agenda and get some traction. Get to work on it so, on this. Um, I was looking for a vote on it, like the agenda policy. It can be a little complicated, and there's probably some work that needs to be done on it. I would suggest we. Um, Allow everyone time to read it, absorb it, and come back with questions. Uh, my suggestion is not to put it to a vote unless the board decides it would like to make a motion. Well, my my thought is is on on these policies. I mean, the the vision statement was one thing because it's just a, a global right. But with these uh, granular policies that. I have such importance. I agree that I think Savory should be here. And, well, Dawn is here, but yes, yes. she's... Um, yeah. Because some of these probably will need word changes and some thought. And yeah, thoughts from you guys? Stephanie, Stephanie you agree? Stephanie or Paula or Elaine? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have the board vote to approve yeah, any policy uh, yeah. with, when there's yeah. a full board and, yeah. and that yeah, way I everyone agree. can have And what we'll do so. with these is Stephanie and I will take the changes um, for the vision. If we vote on it, fine. If not, we'll make the changes and bring it back again for review next month. That'll give everyone 30 days or so to um, absorb it all. Okay. The, the um, social media policy for the board members is not something that's going to be that... that um, Stephanie and I have worked on. This is an example of one we've pulled. We expect more work on it to be done. So, um, this, so these policies aren't published yet. These are just examples. So like agenda, it's a large policy. We'd like everybody on the board to read it, bring your suggestions at the next meeting. Let's discuss it, change wording, make a, any adapt, adaptations we want to it. And then uh, Stephanie and I will go forward and, and work just like the agenda. Possibly next time we will get all the corrections in, come back, do a rewrite, and then expect to make it uh, more formal to the board in, I would say, October. So if that is acceptable to you all, um, we'll table our discussion for next month. And also um, we'll have Savory and Donna in place at that time too. So these are large policies, they need to be brought into the mix. But I wanted to get it out there and give everybody time to um, go through it. So a little homework. Don't leave it to the last minute. <laughs> okay.
Okay, and I, I think that um, as far as the procedures, um, say that again. Do we have rentals? Yeah, that's. I have that listed as well. Yep. The next one is the, is um, the director's report. Oh, no. We can bring that up. Yeah, um, because it's not on the agenda, but. Oh, I thought it is. Oh, did it? Did yeah. she get it? Oh, maybe I have the other copy. Good. Uh, yes. Okay. Sorry. The rental policy was. Um, is an item that really falls under the town administrator, Rick. <laughs> we copied you on the email with the rental policy, the old rental policy that needs to be reviewed, and, and as that's the administrator's offices. I have not had. So we can table that till sure. till you can get back. I sent you a copy. Yes. Okay, of the old of the old policy. So um, can we also table that one? But but no, it's in the works. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, that whatever Are Rick's inquiries since it's redone and it looks awesome now. Well not so much for rentals, but people have been asking about meetings. Oh so I haven't um, asked about that. Um, but I have the same thing that I was This mean we can't rent it out until we have an yes. official policy? It, do, it does mean that you can't rent it out right now. Oh. That's my understanding from, from Connie. Okay. But we'll look into it. Yeah. Uh, because it's a town approval form, because it's a town property. So uh, Rick will get to it as he quickly can um, and work it out so that uh, all we're going to just do is retype, uh, accept it. And, well, um, but it, it could be a, you know, a consideration for is there an increase in fees since yeah. it's yeah. Well, Sounds that was the other saying. thing that yeah. that you that um, um, I had talked to with someone. But maybe we can check and find out if, or maybe Rick will do that. I don't know, but um, yeah, I'll check into the status of the trustees. Yeah, and and we'll hear from him fairly shortly. <laughs> That's that's it for now for the uh, committee. No, nope. director's report. Hmm? Director's report. Yes. yes. Director's report next. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, sorry, I got in my hand. Thank you. You're welcome. Just I want to make sure everyone has their copy before. Yes, thank you, Connie. Thank, thank you for doing it. And all of it. Also, there's a hot off the press is the September newsletter. So yes, that's um, it. That's it. I am that. Uh, I just want to start off with the fact that we still are in need of three yes, more Gatcher drivers. That has been a need for several months now. If anyone knows anyone that's looking for the part-time job, uh, we could use. Like I said, up to three more. Um, the need for drivers will actually grow very soon as we have more uh, availability for um, transporting seniors. Currently, we have 141 seniors that have been registered for my senior center um, with the key tags, and um, it's pretty much on a daily basis, adding one or two every day. Um, Heidi's continuing her monthly meet and greet outreach sessions at the Carver Public Library at this time until the Village Clubhouses become available. 
Um, we have a new Shrine Counselor that is scheduling to, uh, scheduled to begin next uh, week on Wednesday, the September 1st. Her name's Irina Marcolini. She's a Carver resident and a retired RN with 50 years of experience in the healthcare field. She just finished her training uh, with uh, Shine and a mentoring and will be scheduling her appointments on Wednesdays from 9 to 12 at the COA. Uh, in August, we returned to bingo and have had almost full capacity every week. Uh, we offered nutrition programs on exploring fruits and sm summer smoothies, which was very well attended. We have some very hungry seniors apparently because they really like the free little samples and they've been asking for more nutrition programs. We offered uh, nature and educational programs. Uh, one was the Magic of Butterflies offered from the Plymouth County Extension and 365 Ways to Enrich a Chimp, which was um, from my son who works at uh, Chimp Haven and um, they both had high interest and were well, very well attended. Uh, the monthly free movie matinee has a dedicated following and uh, they've been actively recommending titles for future showings so I think it will be an ongoing uh, a continuation. We have 26 registered for the Ice Cream Social and Ukulele concert uh, for Monday, but I fully expect that more people will likely drop in. Maybe if they're there for lunch, they'll stay for the concert as well. I have 30 registered currently for the Bloom Bus Tour for the Newport Playhouse, which is scheduled for September 27th. And um, it, the bus is a go as we stand right now, um, so uh, we're, we're planned to continue with that. Uh, the September preview, which is featured in the newsletter that you just got, um, line dancing will be held on Friday, September 10th. We, there was a survey in the last newsletter that had a good response, so it looks like there's interest. And that will be with local instructors David and Marsha Burbank. And it's sponsored by the Friends, and the cost is uh, $5 per class, and the class size is limited to 15, but if in interest is higher, an additional class time will be considered. An eight-week um, Tai Chi class being facilitated by Old Colony Elder Services will be starting on Monday, September 13th through November 8th uh, from 1 to 2.30. Heart to Home Meals will be sponsoring a free hot meal event on Monday, September 20th. This is an organization that has been offering these free meal programs to the COAs in the area, and it's a way that the, to introduce their home delivery meal service. Participants have the choice between two meal options, chicken teriyaki or crumb-topped cod. The service will prepare and serve the meals along with a trivia activity with prizes during the lunch service. And capacity is limited to 60, which is virtually our capacity in the Nutrition Center, and reservations are required. Uh, Carver Cultural Council is sponsoring a Tri-County Symphonic Band Concert featuring chamber music with their clarinet group and will be held on Wednesday, September 22nd at 1 p.m. The veterans agent, Mark Pinio, is returning to his monthly office hours on Thursday, September 23rd from 10 to 12. He's, he basically sits in the Nutrition Center and meets with anyone that wants to discuss any of the issues for uh, veterans' benefits. Um, an iPad instruction class uh, is starting with our retired technology teacher and local resident, Lydia Nelson, and that will start on Tuesday, September 28th at 10 a.m. A total of 10 iPads have been purchased using CARES Act funds for the seniors to use in these classes. A wall mount locking charging station was also purchased. The frequency of classes will be determined with the input of the participants. Uh, further developments with the COA, um, operations and maintenance has removed the old ramp, hooray, <laughs> from the front of the building. Uh, they'll be replaced with steps um, yet to be built um, at the entry identified as an emergency exit only. O&M will also be providing an updated schedule for the paving in front of the, the building in the walkway and the nutrition center driveway um, since recent rainy days have delayed the process. Signage for the entranceway is still to come, and a security system will be installed similar to what other town buildings have for security and safety, particularly in light of a recent accident with a senior that could have gone unnoticed. Uh, finally, the My Senior Center touchscreen kiosk for contactless check-ins for daily attendance, events, and activities not only was purchased, but it, did, um, it was delivered. It was purchased with CARES Act funds um, along with the stand. And training for this, for the staff, uh, will be on October 1st. 
and um, that will provide the instead of me going around individually scanning people in um, people can self check themselves and uh, it will still record the data anyone have any questions any questions um, for this fundraiser for the oh, paint wait, night. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't mention that. I should. This is a, friend, a friends event. Yeah, there's a paint night on September 21st yes. between 6.30 and 8.30, $20 per person. Um, it indicates that full payment is needed by Friday, September 17th. Do you know how people submit that money? Um, that, that would be through me for the friends, so it would be okay. some, if, if anyone has uh, checks, it would be made out to the friends. Okay. Yeah. And anyone can call on that. Yeah, I should mention the friends have two uh, two fundraisers. One is the September Paint Night fundraiser, and that is for any age 21 and up. So it's not a senior specific event. It is to benefit the COA, but it's open to um, anyone 21 and up. And inside, under the friends um, membership blurb, on the inside page is the Lions uh, combination Lions friends golf fundraiser which is occurring on Saturday October 9th and um, that is more information is on the friends website and uh, Madeline's available uh, for contact as well as um, Paul is available and I think is Ron, uh, Ron is also um, taking information Ron Clark but hopefully yeah. any Thank discussion you. Is there a motion on the floor? I invite a motion to accept the director's report. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we don't, don't need usually to. do that. Do we? We, 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 no. don't. we don't need to. Okay. Yes, I don't think right. so. And let's see what do we have next. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Uh, continued discussion on the um, fall event. Yes. Doors open. Um, Give me a second. I think we um, were looking at October 3rd for that. We were looking at October 3rd. Um, unfortunately, the pavilion that I know we spoke about possibly using, mm -hmm. Nashville oh, Park, right. they're going to have music there that day. Uh huh. So the pavilion pavilion's not available on October 3rd. Okay. Because we'll have so music there. Do we need there. the pavilion? Or can yeah, we just I was do just going to say, do we, yeah, do we need the pavilion? Yeah. Oh, no, that was Savory had mentioned that last time. Because um, of the wet possible weather. Right. It, it and because of the smoother surface. Yeah, but we, we don't would, need to. They yeah. said that. Um, and we would be so available to here and across the street and the availability. So. Yep. So October 31st is the last day. So they said that we're, that we're welcome to go um, any Sunday in October. So we could still do the third. We would just need to have a canopy, a canopy. And, a, and a table. Yeah. yeah. So what do we have to. Um, we just need to let them know. Was there another date that we could consider and try to get the pavilion? But wasn't that a day we wanted to go because it was going to be activity that day? Then uh, are you hearing? I don't. I don't remember why we were I thinking yeah. October third to be honest. Maybe because, because, because we didn't know when it was going to be. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paula, the, the, there was uh, an activity I thought, and it was still going to be warm weather. Can, can right. We <laughs> Hold on one second. Donna, the October 3rd date for the pavilion for the fall event is not available. Okay. So, however, however, we could change the date or we could use a pop-up tent. Change the date? A pop-up or a tent. Well, yeah. is it going to be, is it, is another date? I mean, is it... Somebody at the um, marketplace is using it or something. Is that why? I'm just curious. Yeah. Yes. 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 So they had said that. Well, that's what we were thinking, Donna, because I thought that at the last meeting we had said the reason we wanted October third was because there'd be activity going on at at the park. Right. And that's what we wanted to be into. Yeah. I would think of the day and then just the pop-up. 
I, I have to agree. I mean, well, what, what does everybody yeah. else think? What did she say? Stick to the October yeah, yeah. third date. Stick to the date, but I mean, use a pop up yeah. yep. or a tent. Yeah. Or you're saying just a pop up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And they even said that they might have um, an extra one if we need it, if we don't have one of our own. Oh, so that would be nice. We just need to let them know. Okay. Okay. Keep so things we'll simple. A, I would say go with theirs. Listening. Yeah. And, and maybe some um, some of these to give up. Don't show any questions. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Do do we want to start making a list of what we want to have in that pop up? I mean, we have an event, and and like Paula just said, we. Should, We'll get a bunch of information we together. We could be yeah. doing the calendars, but we also wasn't the point, a lot of the big point of it was the pamphlet that you and Stephanie, you and Paula had worked on. A well, nice welcome. pamphlet. Well, I, I, I just through the chat. <laughs> yeah. Well, you said the city could be and decide to bring it back to the floor for September. I just wanted to mention the welcome packet. That's not a, a handout to be given out because oh, just the, the just the content alone is just going. It's very specific to new arrivals to the community. I would have more of our brochures and elements that are within the welcome packet be exactly. available. But um, I think that's what Paul was talking about, like just having the uh, newsletters. Um, I, I would have our application uh, with a free lunch coupon if they bring it back to the COA filled out, they'll get a key tag and they can have a free lunch, that type of thing. But I think the entire welcome packet, only just because we are going to have even more in it, and, more, and I, more reserved, because we just it's just a, an affordability factor. And I think it, that's really what we were looking for more was the contents mm -hmm. of, of what's in there. Did we, did we, did we set up a... Uh, what did you do at the last fall? Was, did you do the cider and donuts? Or did, I wasn't here for that. Yeah, yeah. And cookies I wasn't there that. for that either. Yeah. yeah, and cookies, and it was really well was received. Was and nice. the, yeah. and yes. the friends were there doing a raffle, but um, I don't think they made as much money as they would hope to, but that's why I'm thinking, I, I would, the October 3rd, I think we'll have more activity. Okay. Um, so, do we want to see yeah, if maybe good. the um, event committee could maybe maybe Paula, um, Donna, and I can talk before our September meeting? Because when is our yes. how late in the month? I'm just it's worried the, about the timing. I of how agree. Late our meeting yes, is in September. Nice. I, so, I absolutely agree. I think we're going to have to have an earlier meeting in September if we need oh, to. Yeah. If the board needs I to do so anything, too. we'll have um, to. Because September 29th, I think, is the is it the next this one? Is a, this is 30th. The 30th. The 30th. Oh, that's, yeah. That's very yeah. We wouldn't be able to really, well, so, everything would have to be done. The vote, the board would just have to give us final approval. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, but we should try to see if the subcommittee can meet sooner, because we, yeah. we can plan it pretty easily. Yeah, because um, you have a base from last year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, we, I'm sure that, um, if they can't give us a tent, I have a canopy. Yeah, I know Paula said canopy. she had decorations. I have a table. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can bring tablecloths. You know, we can get tablecloths and balloons, yeah. and we can do cider and and donuts again. And maybe we can do some type of a, I don't know, maybe a free raffle to have people yeah. come over to our table and draw their attention I think to it, us. Definitely you say that. Unless the friends want to, yeah, that do that's friends that day, that. so we'll know. have to check with the friends and see what they yeah. want to do. Because Madeline's not here. As a committee, do you guys want to just what? You want us to just just defer to you? We need another. It's either we defer to the well, we'll committee and you feel and comfortable doing that meeting. because of timing. I feel totally comfortable, especially with who's yeah. on the committee, and the fact that we did this last year. So it's kind of just a re repeat with a few minor changes. Yep. You and already you know that the tent, a tent can be available. Yep. Connie, you you brought Supply decorations, them. right, last year? We have a ton to work with, too, if you yeah. want. Don't go buying anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I don't I don't think we have to really yeah. stress about having I think I think all we can right. say to the committee, if you need some help or... Exactly. You just okay. let us know what you all need. Certainly willing to help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and I think the rest of us, you just right. point us in a direction and... 
And we'll, we'll plan on being there that day, we'll, too. Yeah. Okay. That's what time do we decide? The we'll, farmer's market is 12 to 4. So we'll be there from, okay. So anytime that yep. everyone can come would be great. But I'm sure we'll send it. We'll, we'll email, you know, further details as we go through them to everyone and make sure that everyone's kept in the loop. So if okay. there's anything that we need, we'll just make sure that we email Don, whoever, we'll, we'll email the board. Okay. So, everyone so we're going to, we're going to defer to, to the committee. You all will give us some type of report. Absolutely. Okay. Recap? And sure. Yep. Um, During the farmers. Could you hear that, Donna? Market. On Sunday. Got any there? Yeah, I can. Okay, okay. Uh, and that's okay with you. We're, we're going to defer to the committee to okay. um, get to work it because it is very quick, and we, you know, if we run this by the board, we're going to need to um, have another meeting. So let's let the committee go forward and start making our plans and have them issue a report. You have 15 minutes to get out of there. Yeah, I know. Actually, the um, <laughs> so gentleman has less. come in and said we need They're to ready. be out now because they need to set up. So yep. we're going to have to just uh, cut this short. Okay. We're almost on. there. Almost. I think we're just about done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fall event. We we'll leave it up to the committee. Yep. Board mm -hmm. member comments. Do we have any? I just thank the committee oh. for stepping up. Um, and yeah. Savory wanted to make sure that we um, mm -hmm. recognize Elaine mm -hmm. Raymond, the new um, uh, board of Director appointee from the town, um, and we introduce her. Many of you seem to know her. I don't, but <laughs> I'm glad. We'll, I'm sure we'll all get to know her. And um, I apologize for all the irregularities with me running it, but you did fine. Best I can do right now. <laughs> the only okay, thing so left, thank you, and I, I don't know if we can have time, is the board member comments. That's, uh, that's yep. what I just asked for. Uh, yeah, do we have know. any board member nope. comments? I don't need because to. that was Savory's In the essence of time. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, that's okay. Do you have anything you want to Everybody's say? Everybody's all set with the alternates not being asked to be on the board first. I mean, I don't care. I, it's I'm not, not, it's you're not very lovely, on I'm the sure. agenda. Nothing to do with you. Huh? Okay, so uh, I can, we can't bring it up. Oh, it's, it's, we can't? No. Oh. It's it's not it's on, the on the agenda. agenda. I think we covered that. Is it on? Do you want to put it on? She's agenda? being introduced. You can you can you can oh. make comment. We just can't discuss it and we can't vote oh. on it. Okay. All but right. you certainly can make comment. Your, that was my only personal question. Comment. Okay. Yep. Board. What? Motion. Motion to adjourn. Someone. Okay. Well, someone. Second. Second. All right, Elaine. That, Elaine, that's your set, your job is second. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to push you out so early, but.